these, the neat thing about this mall is you can bring your dog. Even, hello, even if it's not a service dog. Here's something that's also very interesting this mall. You can rent these little animals to ride around on for some reason. All right, you guys convinced me. Let's go for a ride. Got to fill out a form. Give them my my insurance, my driver's license, and you know all that stuff. All right. So I was looking for the uh, Lamborghini, but I, I couldn't find one. I guess that <laughs> I guess that would be a bull. So with this to make it go, you're gonna press down on that foot pedal right here. Okay. And when you want to stop, you just take your foot off. It's gonna come to a slow stop. All right. That's pretty so simple. So you can go around the entire mall. Just don't run anyone over or crash okay. into any kiosks or people. Okay. All right. So make sure you don't pull on the ears and the tails. All right, so you're starting okay. at 't know it's just another brick in the mall I think I have a little bit of time let's have a little bit of fun with this look at this crazy thing I'm riding on or we're riding on Because this used to be a real mall, there's a lot of parts where the floor has been ripped up and they just don't bother fixing it, making it look nice because their whole marketing angle is, it's the anti-mall, so a, a regular mall would be concerned about fixing things and making it look pretty. This is an, an, a different mall. It's, it's just they don't have the budget to fix it up. Not to say that there aren't any franchises here. There are a few. It's another store that has some interesting stuff. Check out this horse. Where else are you going to find a statue with dolphins like this? I mean, you'd have to look really far. I mean, you're not going to have it at Bass Pro Shops. You're not going to have it at one of those stores. You really are not going to be able to find a sculpture like that anywhere. Oh. oh yeah. There are sometimes shows on the stage here. Yes, there's also a Ron John shop here. It's a very large one. There's one of the anchor stores that that still exists in this mall. Terrible music. Okay. Look at complete floor without like crazy patterns and things that need to be fixed.
like beef jerky, you're in luck here. I've never had it and I don't want to. And look, they even have Jelly Belly beef jerky. Wait, this isn't beef jerky. The, li the sign lied to me. Here's another one of those bizarre dead ends. I guess this is what they're expecting it to possibly look like eventually. So it looks like they are legitimately working on opening more of this mall up. And here we are coming up to another dead end. But before that is something else that's interesting. I'll, uh, I'll take you in here to show you this at some point. Uh, I'm gonna wait till my GoPro Hero 5 is back from being fixed because I want to do some slow motion shots in here and I just don't have the money right now. So please keep watching these videos, liking them, and especially clicking on the ads helps a lot. So hopefully I'll have a little more money soon. Here's another unique store in this place. Ooh, check this out. A doc said it again. Doctor Who, old school Doctor Who pinball. Nice. Iron Man. This is a little bit newer. Oh, uh, looks like a meme. A meme. Look at all these old school. See, I didn't say check out. Look at these old school, old school games. I had one of those. I had one of those. I had one of those, but it was the original one. That's the second generation. Never had one of those. Wow, it's amazing. You can still. Oh, Army of Darkness was an Atari game? Wow, I didn't know it was that old. You can still buy Atari games. Happy. All right. Interesting. This is an old school ski ball machine. Now you can still find ski ball in, in arcades. Classics. Some old school team shirts. I used to love playing big dog. Here's a whole store about Himalaya sodium. Don't know if these work, but they apparently bring in enough revenue to have a whole store just for Himalaya salt. Yes, a record store. And of course, if you have a record store, you have to have something Pink Floyd in it. <laughs> CDs, DVDs, VHS. If it's dead, it's here. Ooh, I wonder if they have any 8-tracks. Okay, so these are actually box sets, not, not VHS. Guess it's not that far behind. And this paper thing, I don't know what you're supposed to play that on. The feature presentation is an empty store. Here's a little magic shop. 25 cents and all you can do is shake his hand. It's a small store. It's a lot of space in the back. You can watch a live demonstration of something you can then buy. It's another artist place. Some pop culture stuff. A lot of geek culture stuff, which is becoming more and more prevalent, it seems. Speaking of geek culture, another 
another small store. Geek items. Oh, not near before Christmas. Cool. And one of the most interesting and coolest thing about this whole mall is right here in Dogs and Monsters. Yeah, this place is huge and full of so much stuff it needs its own video. Well, if you're interested in opening a small store, apparently there's some space open. And an actual bookstore containing only books. Interesting. This mall does have a, a movie theater. I'm thinking this probably was here back when it was a regular mall. Not very many malls have a mini golf course inside, but this one does. That's not a very large indoor miniature golf course, but it is indoors, so you can't expect a whole lot. Since it is the size of a regular store. But it's decent size. So I have been in one other mall that I think of it that does have a... This is the second time I've been in a mall with an indoor golf course. So I don't, though I think the first time it was a full uh, regular mini golf course. This one doesn't seem to have any windmills or any moving objects, but still not too common. Here is a charging station that you charge by pedaling and running a little generator. <laughs> 